Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're going to work on using like a floating text title in our GS Pro. This may not be the most functional thing for actually identifying features on a map. As such, it'll make the map a little bit more cluttered. But hey, it can look cool sometimes. So we want to put a title that's floating right here. And so what we'll do is we'll go to the Insert tab. We'll go over here to Layers and Graphics. We can click on Rectangle Text. And then we can drag it in and we can start to type. So we can type here and then we'll change the text and font size later. So once that we have what we want, if the editing dialog box for this text box we just created is open, we can edit there. Or if it's not, you can just right click on the feature we just created and click properties and then edit it there. So we want to make the font a lot bigger. Let's maybe make it bold, stand out a little bit and hit apply. Then let's change the color of the font. And we'll do that by clicking the down arrow right next to where it says color. And then we can click apply and I'll change the color of the font. You can scroll down and click the down arrow on position. You can change the position of where the text will be within the text box. Remember to click apply after you change things if you want to see it represented within the map. If you want to move it, you can click on it and just drag it. So now we'll change it to have a little bit of outline. We'll go back to text symbol and then where it says outline color, we can select it. And then outline width, we can give it a value that makes sense. We can click apply and we'll see that it develops an outline give it a bit more contrast. So you can experiment with this to make sure you get an outline that works for you or whatever your font size is. I'm going to stay there. So let's say we want to change the font. We'll again go back to text symbol and by font size, we'll select one that makes sense for us. I want something a little fun. So I'll just start testing things out. Ooh, that works. So I'll change the size and see how that looks. If you pick a size that's too big for the current text box, you can just select the box, find the sliders, and then drag it to make sure your text fits. And there we have it, a floating title in our Jazz Pro. Thanks. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content.